Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today we're going to be doing a sandwich from art history, specifically uh, Dawn, who wrote in to say that her friend and her sister's friends uh, used to have this sandwich made for them by their grandma. First we lay down some peanut butter and some strawberry preserves. Then of course you add Cheetos. Now to be fair, grandma served it with the Cheetos on the side and the kids put it in the sandwich, but it's my understanding from Dawn that they still put them in the sandwich to this day. So uh, let's give this peanut butter, jelly, and Cheeto sandwich a go. This is such a kid sandwich. I remember when I was growing up, we would always have those cheese flavored crackers um, and they would be filled with peanut butter in between. So I know that cheese and peanut butter work and cheese with stuff like strawberry jelly works. So this actually works. Plus you're getting the textural element of the Cheetos crunch. I do want to plus it up just a little though. I'm getting a little chili powder. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's give this peanut butter and jelly Cheetos sandwich plus up with a little bit of chili powder. Oh. I dig it. I think the chili powder works with cheese, it works well with sweet, works well with the peanut butter. I don't know, maybe I'm just a big kid. All right, so the original uh, peanut butter and jelly and Cheetos sandwich, I mean, come on. It's a fun sandwich. It's not something you're gonna eat every day. I'm gonna give it a seven. I thought it, the flavors worked pretty well together. Uh, plus up with a little chili powder, seven and a half. It's, it's actually quite nice. I am definitely gonna finish that. I don't know that I'd go out of my way to make this again, but certainly wouldn't say no to it if someone made it for me, so. <laughs> All right. See you tomorrow.